Ha 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 ha! <laughs> you can't fool me. Potion of haste. A schnitzel, uh, that's a piece of meat with um, covered in breadcrumbs, sort of breadcrumbs, kind of like thing. It's like the the German food schnitzel. <laughs> Well, that's a schnitzel meter art. Let's call it a schnitzel. Your existence, I'm a tormented. Okay. The curse of bitter sting. Spoiler alert, bitter sting is. is wherever. Are you okay? No. It's not necessarily fried, you can put it in a pan normally and cook it. Wall of Deathling Flare. Wembit Deceive. Ah, move silently skill. Nice. What? The bitterest thing is not in this game. It's bad. <coughs> Schnitzel with. Pommes, French fries, that's like the, the to go thing of German cuisine. Quite good. <laughs> we, we, where I come from, we, st we even eat um, gravy on it, well, brown, brown gravy. And other parts in Germany don't do that. <laughs> but we in Swabia, we kind of like our gravy sauce. I mean, it's sauce for everything. <laughs> what do we have here? That doesn't look good. These mobs can. Oh god! Doggies! Mm. My torch is out! My, my freaking cat size is out! Toxic mm. element! Wait, can I maximize the toxic element? The potency of the toxic element. 29. Oh, let's, let's see if it's actually doing some damage now. Ha! One trauma! Okay, the, the dotting stuff in this game isn't really working, huh? <laughs> A little bit low. Well, it's like doing no damage for 29 points of mana. Take me first, it's your fault. No need to whine like that. Now, a, a Wiener Schnitzel is something different. 
Uh, a Wiener Schnitzel is the, the meat is from the lamb. That's a Wiener Schnitzel. And then the the Schnitzel wie Wiener Art, which are well a different kind of meat, but the the ah the stuff I wanted. Well, uh, totally not an annoying sound effect. Oh god. Oh god! The heck with more wolves! Damn it! Yeah, split the damage. That's a great idea. Maybe they're different. The diff uh, but there's a Wiener Schnitzel. That's how you with lamb meat. I don't know how the what what the uh, fast food chain is. Spells quick. Eat that. There we go. What is my title, by the way, now? Headmaster Journeyman. Uh huh. So, I would like to get rid of those heads. They are kind of a little bit heavy and so. Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> Wiener Schnitzel doesn't actually serve Wiener Schnitzel. Great! <laughs> Secret. Jack Rabbit's Iron Scale Boots. Mm. And a Squall of Spark. Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, I think those books aren't worth as much. Elementary. Nice defense. Good. Let's go and sell stuff. In old mobiles. Show me your inventory. Sell this, sell mm. that. Mm. Wonderful. Got chili dogs for Sonic. Should be happy. Okay. 
potion of keen sight. Yeah, all those fattening delights. <laughs> New compress atmosphere to water, reveal map, sonic blast, fire touch. Can you get your hands on like a uh, fireball or so, please? That would be great. What exactly do I have in my inventory that is so freaking heavy? Let's throw these away. We don't need that, we don't need that, we don't need that, we don't need that. We don't need torches anymore. Ah, no, we don't need really. mm -hmm. These are the heaviest things. Oh, and I can sell the branch. Oh, okay. Lack of spice is gone. Drink that. But treasures awaits us here. So the white area looks like a caravan was attacked by these death thingies, death breakers. And here we have Turn back, do not enter. Well that sounds like an invite, doesn't it? <coughs> Oh boy, if only there were some powder kegs nearby, which I can get to blow this barrier open. Oh gee whiz. Today, whole grain noodles with um, peanut butter sauce. That was pretty good. And sweet corn. to contain these deaths with us in there. Interesting. Oh yeah, Japanese and Chinese food is pretty popular. We, we kind of like all sorts of different multicultural food. In the city there are a lot of um, sushi bars for example or uh, one of our favorite restaurants is the Spanish restaurant. And yeah, we, we yeah. like our multicultural food. But we also have, of course, a lot of <laughs> uh, German bars, uh, restaurants. Mm -hmm. I use chopsticks when I eat my sushi, yeah. 
I, I learned the fine art of chopsticks. <laughs> what? I'm Daniel's son, of course I can use chopsticks. <laughs> you guys never watch Karate Kid? <laughs> I, I never caught a fly though. <laughs> It's a little bit awkward now. <laughs> Can we change the topic, please? <laughs> well, I also have to try out Sushi for myself. Oh, that looks inviting. The Blackened Pass is directly to the entrance of Omentor Temple, which itself is a massive granite skull. Within the skull's mouth, you see a dark and narrow stairwell descending below. A cold, damp steam stream of air flows up from the underground and passes through the hollows in the skull, producing a haunting sound, reminiscent of a child crying. Okay. Well, that looks inviting. Look, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look. That looks like a passageway here. Yeah. <laughs> An extra skill point on my next level up. I have to say I kinda like these secret areas. It's quite fun to find them. <laughs> Those are really that hard. Okay, uh, let's see what's down there. It looks so inviting. Well, there's only no danger here. Descending into the temple, you discover that it doesn't seem as old as it appeared from the outside. The stone masonry of the walls is in good condition, not crumbling apart like you've seen in many forgotten dungeons, and the air lacks that familiar moldy smell. Clearly this haunted temple is merely a facade. Facade. Perhaps to scare away curious adventurers and treasure seekers? I don't know, it kind of sparked my interest. Oh, there's a beholder. Oh, there are two beholders. Oh, God. I have a strange feeling I shouldn't be here. <coughs> yeah, yeah, they speak German. That, that's, that's kind of like a, a given. Uh, oh. YOLO. has been destroyed. Okay, they kinda made sure that I didn't survive that one. You have died multiple times. <laughs> Maybe I should finally get the trap kill spell. <laughs> Okay, fuck this place. I come here later. <laughs> yeah, that's gone to three. Terry Wench. Well, to be honest, the first two deaths could have been avoided if I actually used my healing potion. I'm a stingy bastard. Hi. 
Yeah, it looks so welcoming. I don't know why it was like that. It's totally mean. <coughs> Ah, put, put, put. Oh god. Ah! Ah! Eat spark. Sounds like a, I don't know, cat or so. Yes, wonderful. Whew. It really is a lot more fun when you can actually kill stuff, you know. I like the regeneration rate that I have now. <laughs> well, I can actually run away from stuff and kill it. Wild cabbage has been in the inventory. You are thirsty. Thou shalt drink. Thou shalt drink if thou are thirsty. What the hell are people doing here in their free time? Oh, I'm bored! How about we set up the uh, sacrifice altar again? Oh, okay! Sounds good! Mmm, meat. Meat with cabbage. <laughs> I didn't even have to blow this stuff up. I could have just gone that way. Okay. Uh, you don't look so good. Squall of Fireball! Oh. What do I not need? Toxic element. Buy toxic element. Hello, fireball. Wait, that was five. What was on five? I think polar claw. That can go suck some dick too. Fireball level six has been added to your spell book. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, that was doggy slaughter. Sadly, no cows to tip. That would have been more fun. I should actually go back to the sacrificial altar and check out the pentagram. But let's let's explode someone with with a fireball first. Anybody here? <laughs> I can cast fireball <laughs> several times. I'm the Lord of the Harvest. 
Welcome to Macros Point. Loading and unloading what? Service to the main lab Monthly. Monthly? Monthly. Shadow Bane Pass. Danger. Emmet's Pass. Long World. Wilkland Road South and West. You see a wooden road sign. What? Which doesn't sound. <laughs> Looks so nice. So. Oh, come on, not a. What the fuck is going on here? No enemies, but all these dead people. Oh, hi! <laughs> BAM! Fuck you, goblin! Everyone around you! Let's try to get him together. Yes! Come, little bit. Yes! Good idea! Oh, oh! Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> we were just talking about Asian food. Oh, the doggy slot. Finally fireball again. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Yeah, couple together. Good idea. Come closer and burn. Spark doesn't do some damage now. You know, 30 damage. For freaking Spark. Can't complain about that. <laughs> Come, Goblin, Goblin, Goblin. Where are you, Goblin, Goblin, Goblin? Does extra damage during rain. Okay. That is quite awesome. Developers, if you're still here, that is quite awesome. Carry on doing that. Thank you. <laughs> I like such neat ideas. Stuff a spark in the way. Killing in the way. I'm killing in the way. I'm killing in the way. I need another 
<laughs> Chocolate rain. <laughs> Tim stays strong, goblins feel the pain, chocolate rain. So, another goblin camp to clear out. Did I just twice it? No. A marker. Macros point. In 702, this beachhead was discovered to be the shortest distance between Bulgaran and the Great Mainland. Named Macros point after explorer Luis Macros, this beach quickly became the preferred entry port to Echelon's western continent, shortening the travel time by 10 days over the previous established sea roads from Puda to Moonrise. Nice. Oh, civilization! I won't use fireball. Oh no. You see a middle aged woman who ex exudes a commanding demeanor. As you approach, she addresses you in a sharp, intimidating voice. Greetings to you, stranger! My name is Alex, and I'm the manager of this little gang of merchants called the Silver Scabbard Caravan Company. What is this that we can do for you? What news can you tell me about the go these goblins? I can tell you that we nearly drove right into their landing party when we approached Macros Point from the west. A kind stranger warned us before we rolled out into the open. And so we held back until the last of the goblins left the area. Now we are stuck here. I don't know when the ferry from the mainland will return to pick us up. Goblins infest the region south of here and the butchers of Aldeorg have been destroyed. We've built this lock barrier around our camp for protection and our guardsmen stand on high alert. We have no choice but to wait it out. I'm so sorry for your troubles. Is there anything I can do to help? Yes, you could actually. There are a few goblins to south of here, very close to our camp. I think they got separated from their group during the beach landing, and now they're just wandering around. I would like someone to go and kill them. If the goblins cover our caravan location, I was going to a, a location, and if they send word to the other goblins, we are done for. I was going to send a couple guardsmen to do the job, but that would leave us undefended while they are away. Goblin hunting, huh? That happens to be one of my favorite hobbies. Great! I think I counted seven goblins altogether. Take care of them and come back to see me. Ah, I have to sort all seven goblins near your camp. My lead guardsman said to use the spikers and watch to slay the last goblin just a short while ago. Thank you very much. 1500 experience points. I will be able to sleep just a little bit easier tonight, knowing they are gone. Take this gold as your payment. There are always goblins. Fuck goblins. Um. Do I increase my wrist? Are there any really important divination spells that I like really need? I don't think so. Stone skin would be nice or so, or iron skin or something, but. Then again, do I really need more intelligence? I can store 17 of the 23 intelligence spells. <laughs> nice really the farmer. Yeah, that are my favorite missions too. Oh, I'm already done with that. Thank you. Ah, let's increase this and <coughs> Do I need more meditation? Mars spoil. But there are 
mage spells also for instead of mass spoiler. Sim something similar to mass spoiler, I think. Supernova or something like that, I don't know. Let's take three in this and one in that. You see a young man holding a crafting hammer. Hanging from his belt are numerous tools for performing fine repair work on armor and weapons. Hello to you, my name is Raylan. I am the arms dealer for the Silver Scabbard Caravan Company. Are you looking for anything particular? You're a weapons dealer, but do you do spissing work as well? Oh, of course. We buy weapons that have literally been through war and I bring them to better than new condition for resale. Also, you would be amazed to see what kind of heirloom weapons and armor that lords and ladies will sell when their coffers run low. Most of these pieces need some weight conditioning to bring them back to full resale value, so that is what I do. I would not call myself a true blacksmith. Just an arms dealer does a repair work on the side. Okay. <laughs> but mass spoil is more fun to say. Well, you are kind of right in that regard. Mass spoil. Sell that, sell that. <laughs> Why are you straining? Hi. Oh! Lilith watches your approach and is happy, is happy to see you. Greetings, Tim. I'm glad we met. We get a chance to talk again. It is fortunate that he decided to stay here with his caravan for a few days, or we would have missed each other. With all that is happening now, I wondered if our paths would meet again before the approaching tide of war swept over this land. Greetings, Lilith. Tell me what you know. By now you've certainly seen the goblins. A legion arrived on the eastern shores of Wildemar only days ago. <laughs> I was watching from afar when they landed, and I was able to warn the approaching caravan coming through the north. Pass, uh, North Pass to stop before the dwarves straight into the madness. Had the goblins seen this caravan, they surely would have set upon it like wolves on a deer. The goblins have split into two groups, one just south of here, and another further down the coast in an abandoned castle near Mirkland. That southernmost group is preparing for to invade Mirkland, probably looking for the crooks you found. Do you know about the crooks I found in Mirkland? Erobor confided this information with me. A falcon arrived from the mainland merely hours ago. Carrying with it a note from Erobor. He said that we were going to seek counsel with someone named Karamiklan in the Astral Range. My task is to be gathering forces together, allies that we can join with to fight the enemy. War is coming and it looks as if we may be fought right here. Many people I've talked to speak of an approaching cataclysm. Yes, the motives of the enemies are clear now. If Marco gets us all four cook stones, he will leave this world and allow the coming cataclysm to destroy us all. The rest of the Oracle are trying to stop him. They will use the crookstones to collapse the volcano, sealing it to prevent the cataclysm. We must aid them, for there is no alternative for us. Erebo has made contact with the leader of the Oracle, but it is unclear how much they can help us. Their numbers are few and their weapons are limited. The Oracle would offer minimal resistance against Malko's goblins and Taurak's hordes on the battlefield. This has become our war, a battle we must fight, if we are to save ourselves. Erobor asked me to travel north, but the roads appear closed. Yes! The warlord Alunda has closed all the roads leading into the Aspel Range. But rumor has it that there is another way. Erobor explained that long ago Malko constructed a number of secret passages, anticipating the need to move his troops quickly and secretively between regions. His forces are scoring the lands, not just looking for cookstones, but also for four curious pieces that will unlock a passage to the north. I have no idea what these pieces would look like, but they were devised by Marco, and so they would likely appear odd to your eyes. Find these pieces, and they may lead you to the pass into the Aspen Mountains. Oh! Very well, thank you for the update. I will be on my way. I'm sure we will meet again, likely on the battlefield, facing our enemy, if not before. Pieces that look strange to me. Well, I got those. Oh, three already. Missing. You have quenched your thirst. 
do you have something to sell? Uh, this will Magicka Divine, Elements of Magic, Magicka Divine, Elements of Magic. Here yeah, I have some wolf belt. Frostborn Hungers. So, well. We need more strange devices. Pretty sure that the goblins to the south have something. I don't have a Christmas tree. I don't really celebrate Christmas. But my friend is glad that she doesn't have to celebrate when she's coming over. That's the main reason she's coming over. And I... On the 24th I'm going to prepare a really nice uh, vegan meal with a nice dessert and a shepherd's something like a shepherd's pie it is of course without meat but other than that yeah i don't have a cat sadly i wish i had the cat in the lower right is a picture of me me i don't know <laughs> it's me playing isaac <laughs> why am i so bad at this <laughs> I think if I had a, if I were allowed to have cats, I would have like five or so. I don't know. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Suddenly, low-level enemies. Did I miss this area? <laughs> Let's kill some flies with fireballs just because we can. What the heck was that? Ah, this is where the, the one guy closed off the pass. Well, I'm kinda, kinda glad that he did it. I mean. Considering they are goblins here. Mm -hmm. Oh, they are just traders, goblin traders. Yeah, th those are like the second level enemies or so. They also give almost no experience. Hey, yeah, yeah, I caught tape bombs again. Uh, your ailments. Oh, wonderful. The tape bombs just fell out of my butt. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it's quite nasty. Ah, since I don't have to sleep so often anymore, I also don't have to <laughs> eat so much, so my food supply is going quite swell. Hey, Goblin! Why, Goblin? I should be able to cast Abyssal Freeze max level now, by the way. Thanks. Hey, I'm actually doing damage. Mm -hmm. 
How much does 29, right here? I'm in the darkness. You shouldn't be able to see me. Unless of course you can see the darkness. Which would be me. Fireballs. One gold piece to your inventory. Hey! Oh god. What the f Oh, Goblin Sapper. Really? Strong thunderstorm is approaching. Come closer, little goblin. Come closer and burn. Ow. Of course, now you start. Uh 
old. Oh, holy fudge. My hemp bracers have been destroyed. Why you do this? Fucking hate you. So one down, one to go. Critical injured and attempts to flee. Until the big, the bad, the fireball catches him! No mercy for the weak. You destroyed my hemp bracers. I will destroy you. Eye for an eye. Hemp bracers for hemp bracers. Oh, take care, Danny boy. See ya. I said I said hi again, just because it's hard. Uh so where is Fuck you? God, so many range cards. Fuck us. Eat sparks and die! Oh no, he has full mana! We are so screwed now! Haha! -ha. But haha! -ha. Eat fireball! That goblin has no has a really bad day today. Sneaky Goblin is trying to ambush him. Just a lead to beat. Ouch, I got it myself, that's not a good idea. Haha! Oh. Can you feel the burn?
No! You really are there! There must be a nest somewhere! Finally! So I was got a whole level just goblin killing. I mean, I can deal with that. I have no problem killing goblins. It's kind of what you do in video games. Killing goblins. Couples of people too. No, they are not. Nasty little buggers. Uh oh. Ha! Wicked Sunwise. Oh, another Gilded Moon pendant. Nice. More items for the item god. <laughs> or taking him to bed like a little teddy, if you remember that thing, which is still a highlight, by the way. Whoopsie <laughs> daisy. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Sunwise. Cleaving weapons to hit and fire damage. A value of 2000. Nice! I can deal with that. I'm happy. I thought you were dead. Die! Die by my blade. Well, spark. Not necessarily blade. Come on, one more goblin. Eh? Okay. Uh... 
she just gobbles everything down. Tastes so good. Need to eat everything. Really? <laughs> Not one more goblin here. So they need to level up. It, it, it's like they planned this all out. <laughs> oh yeah, you will have this, this experience level and then one goblin will be missing. Come on, one little, little, tiny, bitty, bitty, mini goblin. It's a strange feeling I want to count another goblin here. Yeah. Well, that's bad. But, oh, I found, I found a wild cabbage and can't move anymore. That's kind of sad. Further south. Where was this one caravan supposed to be, by the way? The missing magpie, no? Have to be sure the magpie. Give to the love letter that you have. <laughs> Ottoman's castle. Ottoman's castle, now in ruin, was once the greatest structure in all of Western Echelon. A bastion for very sea travelers, its lights guided vessels around the docks of Dead Man's Land. After Master Ottoman death in 622, the castle quickly fell into disrepair and was ultimately abandoned, left to the sea to reclaim. His geomark was placed by the members of the Sea Warden's Guild dedicated in 707. Okay. Well, uh, what do we have here? A little goblin. A little level goblin. Conveniently placed uh, thingies. Whoopsie daisy! Did I do that? Magpie was in the area with Lilith. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I will kill one goblin and then return to this area. I was kind of expecting it, I just didn't see her. Thank you. Uh. Waste divination a little bit? Well. Okay. <sighs> you can't quick travel when there are enemies nearby. Oh, magpie! Where art thou? That level up felt really nice. Oh, there are three women. But yeah, you are Alex. Are you magpie? You're Lilith? And you are magpie. Oh god! You see a young girl smiling brightly as you approach. Her bubbly personality is apparent even from a distance. Greetings to you! My name is Magpie and I am the magic stealer with the Silver Scarab Carving Company. Is there anything you need? 
Your name is Magpie? I have a letter for you. What is this? She asks inquisitively as she unfolds the letter and begins to read it. Soon after, a skull forms on her face. What a creep! Every time our caravan rolls into Moonrise, this guy is there waiting for me. He acts like he's my boyfriend, as if we're going to get married soon. But honestly, I don't even know him. Now he's going too far by sending me this letter. Do you want me to take care of him for you? Uh, oh no, I, I don't want any harm to befall him. I will just write him a return message. If I ever make your way back to Moonrise, please give him this. Um, sure, <laughs> at this point I need to see how this will play out. Thank you, I really appreciate your help. Uh, you're not like the other magic supply dealers I've met. Backpike equals. <laughs> well, I really don't know that much what I'm selling. My aunt Alex is the caravan leader and she gave me this job. She said I had a face that could sell a glass of water to a warning man. Whatever that means. She taught me that it was more important to be an expert in the skill of merchantile than anything else. Now how to sell and it won't matter what you are selling, she tells me. Do you enjoy traveling with the caravan? Oh yes, I do. Most girls my age are settling down and having children or wiping down tables in a dank tavern. I get to see the world, visit exotic locations and meet fascinating people such as yourself. It is a dangerous job sometimes, but I wouldn't want my life to be any different. Let's see what you have for sale. Fireball, hey! <laughs> D-Hex Flesh Boil. Hey, Trap Kill, how about we buy that one? Compress Atmosphere, Toxic Element, Sonic Blast, Dwarf Water, Ectoplasm, okay. Oh, that's kinda it. D-Hex, oh, I, I have the money. Mystic Hammer. Ooh. Crush one enemy with terrible fury. Oh, yeah. I need more divination spells slots. No. Uh you one thousand fifty gold. Oh, that's good. So Let's see what the dude has to say, say about that. Let's read her message first in a different dimension. Different dimension, I. Dear sir, I don't know you at all. I'm not going to marry you. I regret that I allowed you to buy me a drink that night at the Merry Wrestle. This will be the last time I'm nice about it. Stop stalking me or else, Magpie. Well, what a loser. <clears throat> so, dear sir, I have a message for you. I found Magpie and gave her your letter. She wrote it back. She wrote back to you. The man excitedly grabs the letter from you and begins to read it. You see the look on his face turn from elation to confusion, and finally to an emotionless blank stare. As he reads the last line of the page, he lets the paper slip from his fingers and tumble to the floor. She, she said she doesn't want to get married anymore. I'm sorry, man. Love is a terrible thing, isn't it? The man buries his face into his hands. Yes. yes, I suppose it is, he says quietly as he begins to sob. <laughs> quietly stand there and wait to be paid. You can see the man occasionally peeks with his fingers to see if you are still there. <laughs> when he notices you, he closes his fingers and lets out a muffled wail. Clear his throat. Oh, you are still here. 
Uh, I suppose you want a payment for your services. Well, I have no money left. I've spent it all on this engagement ring. The man pulls out a shiny diamond ring from his shirt pocket. He looks at it for another minute and then properly stuffs it into your hand. Very well, you might as well take it. I have no need for it anyway. Run! Oh, a 500 gold engagement ring. Huh. What a knacker jack. I have no idea what a knacker jack is. <laughs> it just sounded right. So. Let's see what's in. Uh, Casket number 10. Hi. Uh, no problem, here you are. Bye. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, I guess this is ten. Ten, yes. It's a nice chair. Ooh. 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 What do I have? Wisdom and divination. That's kind of important, you know. <laughs> Luminous ring, mystic hammer, and ice lance. Well, so when I get ice lance for free, I might as well use it, eh? Ice lance. Oh, 49! Ow! Oh, I need 31 elemental skill to cast it. Okay. Ouch! I think 39 should be the uh, uh, 31 should be the last level of elemental magic that I need. So, oh, thanks for your cooperation. I still don't know what's up with this area. I don't know. Curious case of Edgar, the curse of Bitter Spring. Okay, Twitter screen and strange. Oh well. So I could wait a castle. Which I guess may be the uh, smartest idea. Why check out this area near Ugolek? Now that I have a trap kill spell. Oh, let's let's try the dungeon near Ugolek. Trap kill? Yes. And I can cast the maximum spell skill. Nice! Maybe I won't explode in a barrier of fire and flames anymore. It would be quite nice. <laughs> Maybe this is one of the secret areas where I can get to the um, warlord. And then he's like, oh, lo, 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 here, have two heads. And he's like, whoa, you killed both of the kings of the warlock people. Awesome. Here have 10 million experience points. Then I turn into the mightiest mage in all of Echelon and just burn his ass away.
Descending to the temple, blah blah blah. Oh, really bad. Yeah, sounds totally possible. Mmm, cool. Iceland's level 4. I should save. Yeah, have your fire in the lava. That's a good idea. Ah! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Little trick here, eh? Trying to be smart. Okay, let's see how we fare against this beholder. Hi! Oh god! Oh, actually, not that bad. Oh. Squilexus suffers 54 damage. Do I need for Iceland level 4? 35, okay. There we go. Yeah, you think of death. Daedrosra. Ah, oh, that's where I need the. Okay, so. As you approach the machine, the titanium gear which is your cabin begins to vibrate. There are small receptacle on the front of this machine. Place the gear widget in the machine. No. Reason? I need to force item. I won't do this here before I can't actually finish it. <laughs> would make a lot of sense. Well, I guess I have to wait on Goblin Castle. Dun 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 So, no. Um, um. So, ah, uh, um. come on, dear goblins, welcome to pain. Thank you for making this game so enjoyable. <laughs> Makes it easy. <laughs> Four nine. Gop Goblin. 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 Goblin.
Like I said earlier, I really like this thing where Spark does more damage when it's raining. That's really nice. <laughs> I like just simple little things. Field of the Flame of Udur! Sniping through the gates. Ha! Ah. Can you smell the cheese? <laughs> I'm not going to open any of these things here. <laughs> Like shooting fish in a barrel. Oh, come on, come closer. Good. Ah, let me rest so I can at least deal with these two. Cat's eyes. Make camp. Camp on the bridge. Oh. I'm thirsty. Not anymore. Never more. That's poor goblins. Oh, <laughs> they're like, hey, that's kind of mean what you're doing there. I'll be back. Goblins! Get to the chopper! Eat fireball! Something like that. I didn't open that one, okay. None of the keys you have fit this lock. Well, I guess I need the uh, the ultimate key. Oh, oh I just a little bit. Ah! Uh. A splash of rancid green fluid sprays out at you. Ugh. <laughs> I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> You have successfully avoided brain mold. Oh, that's interesting. Just punch it in your face! Who needs fireballs when you can just punch it in the face? That's just angry with disgusting fireballs. Just because we can. Burr, burr, burr. It, it speeds it up a little bit. Them smash them open. Tim happy. Hand must ache like a motherfucker. <laughs> but he doesn't care. He, he, yeah, Tim wants food. Oh, fuse powder. <laughs> Wait a sec. I threw a few fireballs at that. Uh, <laughs> at that chest. 
488 gold. Hello, nurse. You see a wooden lever? Yeah. Use the wooden. No? Okay. Don't, don't, don't use the wooden lever. Think I have to open this? Tim chops wood with his bare hand. He doesn't need an axe. Tim chops. Tim Chopper. Get to the chopper again. Yeah. There we have it. So, let's see. Strong is the door. <laughs> There's a chain How oh, are you doing? You're going to need a big boat. <laughs> Tim is going to need a bigger fist to open this door. Pizza delivery! We have the extra hot. The thing that prevented you from visiting me was of good nature. Oh god, that may take a while. Open it! Open it! Ah. <laughs> that was Tim just screaming there. Ah! It actually hurts if you try to hit an adamantium lock with your bare hand. But he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He has one skill in unarmed and he's like, fuck this. <laughs> I'm determined. I want to get in there. No matter what, what's in it. I have fireballs at my disposal. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Tim. Tim who? Tim fireball in your face. Doctor, Doctor Who. Ah. <laughs> Your master for the Dementium Lock is nothing against my fireballs and the fist. There are stakes inside. Everything was forgotten. Open sesame. You evaded the damage of the trap. Ah, gold key. Nice. <laughs> Bash the door in to get a key. That's something. Let me west. My, my head must west. <laughs> Do you believe in our Lord Jesus Christ? Ow! Oh my, my hemp light cloak has been destroyed, that's sad. Tim does need a cloak. No cloaks! Cloaks are for pansies. I have the strange feeling that depending on uh, how you do these locks, you can actually unlock everything. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> He's behind the couch. No cloaks allowed. Oh, I didn't I even need to bash an amentit door in. Well, who cares? I, I can, therefore I am, or something. I don't know. So, something like that. <laughs> That's the... Oh. Okay, your cloak is allowed. Suddenly, fireballs. Sneaky fireballs from the darkness. I cast fireball at the darkness! Is my... I'm, I'm kind of naked at the moment. Ugh. You see a human corpse that has been dismembered as if it's being prepared to be cooked. Uh, uh. Fuck is wrong with you? Oh god. Come <laughs> on. A nice goblin lady. Mm. <laughs> Tim is like, I put on my wizard hat. <laughs> and then he just went into the dungeon. Naked, just with a wizard hat on. <laughs> you are hungry. Eat some gruel. Have some fun. Baby, I make the best gruel in town. And she's like, oh, your gruels taste so wonderful. <laughs> Ow. I like that. <laughs> is obscured. Your mom is obscured. <laughs> A little throne room. Oh, that's cute. Finally, I can open these things without the help of uh, this stuff. Mm. Well, it's all very nice what you offer me here. Let's put down the. <laughs> Bye! Let's save. Let's rest, because I, I kind of smell that it's the end of this dungeon here. Oh! I should have read what's written there. <laughs> um, I'm kind of glad I saved, you know. You see three pressure plates in this room with a closed gate on the other side. Your instincts tell you this room is trapped and that you, you should be very careful. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> I don't have the mana points to do that, okay. 
Whoops. Well, thank God I have these instincts. Ooh, and another pendant, 22. The Odyssey is sweating blue collar, so I'm peeing into the crystal. <laughs> Peeing into the crystal. <laughs> you didn't pee into the crystal, Tim. <laughs> if you see swirling blue collars while you're peeing into a crystal, then you may have a problem. You should get a doctor for that. Oh, you're struck with the feet and someone's looking back at you. You feel very uncomfortable and bustled away. Oh, ah! Oh. Damn it! What did I do? Ahem. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. I, I misclicked. I was peeing into the crystal and I was confused. <laughs> Is too heavy and I cannot move. And eat stuff, please. And there we go. <laughs> I want a one on my dex check and I fumbled really bad. We have a mental condition that causes dementia, so how we that is in Okay. Well, always look at your pee. <laughs> <laughs> and don't fall on traps if you manage to evade them. Okay, um, yeah, I have this ball. Ball of D hex and mystic hammer. Let's go to Moonrise. Sell off stuff and. Yeah, I, I think I will check what's in the vault. Oh, trouble from dehydration. Oh, let's not do that. Sad. Let's sell off all the stuff that I got. Maybe buy some new... New pants or so. Jim needs pants! Jim needs... Jim needs heights dingy dongy. Oh, you don't have enough gold. Oh, it's it's kind of sad for you. Hemp leggings. Yes, hemp leggings. Good. Boss, your studded vest. Good. A belt. Good. Hemp clothes. He, he was wearing pants, but the fireballs kind of got rid of them. I have. I don't want to know how it's looking be beyond there. That's Ah, pants, good. Some some shoes would be nice. Hide boots, good. Let's repair the necromancer set. And a cloak. Why? Why do I not selling a cloak? Oh yeah, I can actually sell the, the stuff here now. Yay! <laughs> I'm not wearing any pants. Tim the pantsless mage. New at Nickelodeon. No. Don't do that to me. What? Uh, 22. Hands are totally overrated.
pursue. Hi. I have this here. The way is open to you, my friend. I'm not your friend! What did you say? Ah, nothing, nothing. Totally fine. Bros for life. Bros for life. Oh, that looks interesting. I take that. God, my pants must be bulging for the money, not because of other things. I'm the path for it. I'm the for it, money. <laughs> Good day, mister. Your, your pants are a little bit bigger now. What did you do? Nothing, nothing. Totally nothing. 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 I still don't know what I have to do up here. Fuck it. I'm not going there. Yeah, I'm almost leveling up. I need to kill a few more goblins. So, but... To keep the suspension going, I will go to the dungeon with the skeleton head, and I think I ended for today. Then it's, it's almost time, and then we will finish it tomorrow. Yeah, I, yeah, I think I will play tomorrow. Finish it. Everyone will be happy. No. <laughs> No, no! I still have two places to go. I'm fairly certain I won't finish it today unless I have, like, I have the feeling I have like two more hours to go or so. Unless the next two places are like, yeah, you, we actually lied. There are no two places more. Two blowjobs, it is. Ugh. A nice buddy. So close to leveling. Jim, dear. Cloakless mage. It's kind of sad. Do I have the portal spell, by the way? I do have the portal spell. I could actually. Actually, I could. Uh, could have just put a portal here. Anyways, now I think tomorrow is a good time. He so, has stole my story of it. I beat you with it. Anyways, I thank you all for coming, especially in deaths. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. I'm quite honored. First time a death I... Oh no wait, there was another time a death came to my channel. When I was playing this puzzle game where I <laughs> broke the puzzle. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> but still, I'm quite honest. Anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see each other soon. So, take care and... Bye!